All right, I've printed out a bunch of uh, photographs of buffalo that I've taken pictures of over the years. And uh, this was in Yellowstone Park, this one. I printed them on photo paper so that I get a, a better quality photograph. And the one thing I did notice is it's short hair on the leg, not long hair all the way up here, but short hair with long hair at the bottom. And uh, this is pretty much the position my buffalo is in. The only leg I need to change is that one there, and I don't know if I can or not, but I'm going to attempt that. I also have to put this foot more flat onto the ground. I don't know if that'll be hard to do or not, but I got to make some changes to make it uh, kosher with the movement of a buffalo. Also, if you notice the uh, fur for the uh, the beard on this buffalo is flipping up. Now these buffalo, this buffalo here was on the uh, Ted Turner Ranch, which is uh, just about oh, 20 miles, 30 miles from here. And I pass these buffalo every so often whenever they're in the uh, pasture uh, on near the uh, road on the way to Bozeman. And uh, I like the movement of that hair right there. Uh, if you notice, there's a huge lump of hair that hangs below the uh, buffalo's breast. And uh, that shows up in there. I'm going to probably do more like this as far as the hair of the buffalo's head. Uh, only because... Uh, he's not moving that fast to make the uh, hair flip back like that. And uh, besides that, I think I got the hair on his uh, head just a little too long. And see, this is more like what I'm going to do the beard. Like, I don't necessarily like the one where it's flipping up. But I printed out a bunch of pictures showing uh, head uh, shapes and hair size and shapes and textures. Now this is a buffalo, this is a really cool looking buffalo. And this is about the middle of summer. And you can see he's got a, a, almost an, af, an afro type hairstyle. <laughs> it's just not... Uh, quite as uh, flowing as that hair there. Now this is a picture that was taken off the internet of a buffalo in wintertime and you can see that all this back here that is uh, smooth skin now would be uh, covered in fur in the wintertime. And, uh, and you can see he's got really long hair. So this is not extreme. Um, there are buffalo with, uh, it just depends on the buffalo, I suppose. And, uh, time to play with some clay. Alright, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to disconnect this hook here off of the uh, base and bring his leg back into this position, which means extending the uh, base a little bit. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. Well, I've got to change the leg position on this leg to this position here. And i got to figure out how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to start that right now. I can't remember what kind of base I've got this attached to. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start investigating that now. Well, I just found out I don't have a wire 
attached to the base back here so that makes it a lot easier to change the uh, leg position so and it's going to be stretched out like this anyway so I won't have to do a lot of anatomy changing in there the only place I have to do that will be up in here I uh, heated up the blade so I can cut into this buffalo because I gotta be able to move this leg All right, I got an old kitchen tool, and it was a meat softener, I think it was, or meat tenderizer. And I'm going to use it to uh, help shape some of this old clay because it's got to be pounded into place. Yeah, you can use any kind of item as a tool and uh, that's the joy of sculpting all right I need to redo the anatomy on that leg and I'm going to put my pounder aside I decided to put my uh, camera back on its mount uh, so it's more solid and uh, continue this uh, buffalo here I've got the anatomy of the buffalo on this printed out sheet it's a from a uh, ZBrush program I'm thinking anyway it's going to help me get the buffalo's hind end properly done now Yeah, this is a buffalo has gone through many years <laughs> of uh, work to get to this point. And uh, it's been a fun journey, even though there's been a long delay layovers <laughs> in the process. It is really hard to find good material on the uh, anatomy of a buffalo and uh, you just do the best you can. It's kind of hard to haul one into your studio and have him pose for you. I 
I got to bend that to armature. To match the uh, new foot position. Oh, all my pictures are falling down. It works out good because that's planted well into that uh, base, and I just have to work out the uh, hook so that it looks natural. Now I have to change the hook position on this leg. I've got to have the hook flat down because it's uh, pointing down into the ground, which it shouldn't be. So I'll have to tackle that tomorrow too when you change things that weren't done intentionally at the first it's always a little hard to catch up and make it all work out but it'll it'll work out you just got to be willing to tear things apart and try something different add that all that much to the base either I still got to design this base to look good it's kind of like a cake right now well anyway See you guys tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.